All right. Oh, this is much bigger. Well, let's see. Oh, they're above me. Righto. I'm gonna switch to the spikes just in case we are fighting something. Huh. The Dragon Lord, King of all monsters, is the one true god of this world, the only one whom we owe our worship. There's no response. She is single mindedly focused on her prayers. It is only because of the prayers we offer to the evil idols that we have the strength to live in this desolate desert. The end of the age of man's at hand. Offer up your play prayers to the evil idol it in it. Ah, oh, these statues are simply divine. But however one, uh, much one might crave to, it wouldn't dare take them away from this place. So these people are going to go insane and attack me if I do this. There's no response. Focusing on our prayers. Wait. Yeah, no. Nothing useful. What about this last person? Oh, last two people. To stand before an evil idol and look upon its face would be to witness true glory, but I dare not endure the trial by fire. There's no response. Focused on prayers. Alright, let's see if I'm fireproof. Let's, uh, let's eat a fruit salad. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Fine. Oh, hey, I get all of these goodies. Yoink! And how dare you disturb our prayers. Do not think you will get away with this, human. Stairs. My stairs. All right, so we've got... Ah! We got bad nicks aplenty. All right, screw it. Oh, shit. These guys don't do damage. So, easy solution, eat this, run, keep running, okay, so I might be able to fight them, not sure, let's see if I can kill a wizard, wham, nope, can't do jack to them, okay, well in that case, that makes this decision even easier, see ya bitches, can't trap me inside these walls, yep. Really? Huh. Did I totally, like, miss this? There's other passages here? Huh. Wonder why. Well, I guess I'll eat this. They're not chasing me. I think I'm too small. Well, seeing as we're here, we might as well explore for a bit. Hey, figured as much. We got Featherfall footwear. Hey, I love that. So, protects against falling damage. Nice. Wonder if it shows up on my character. I don't know. Anyway, where did we come from? Where did we go? I can't tell. Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, I'm just gonna run around until we find where we came from, or not, or whatever. But yeah, it looks like there's a number of goodies uh, around on the outside here somewhere. So we might as well grab all of them. This is probably going to be a mimic. No! It just had a fireplace in it. Moin. It'll be easier to tell, tell my way if I've done this. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put dirt blocks the way I've came. So it'll be easy to tell that, hey, don't go this way. There, there we go. So that should make this easier. Okay. Nothing there. Yeah, it looks like we still have enemies up there. Just like the dragon that probably still takes spike damage. 
Maybe? I'm just not that motivated to go out of my way to spike them all to death. I could do it, probably. It just doesn't seem that necessary. We could try it. Can't believe I totally missed that. I'm so surprised there's like next to nothing in there. Okay, do they? Oh my god, they take take spike damage. Looks like spike damage is just a flat 10. Ow. Surprise! Well, this is goofy. I don't know how I'm gonna fight those wizards. Probably similar methods, but whatever. Oh, not enough space. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass collecting all of these when we're done. Okay. So I can't wall up them. Probably can't shovel them. Let's see, so we've got this. We've got a bunch of bones. Okay, so I barely do damage to them with that. Okay. Yeah, all in all, this really does not seem worthwhile. In the slightest. But maybe if I kill one of these wizards, it will be. Just the idea of collecting a hundred of these spikes after the fact. Not exactly attractive. Still. Alright. There's two of them. Where's the next? It looks like we also have a, um... Random HP bar down there. Which is weird, because... How do you get there? Also, apparently I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. There he is. See if I can get him to back up a bit more. Come on, just move, dude. All you gotta do is shuffle step a bit, man. Just a bit. Yeah, there's totally an enemy that's... Oh, it's one of the wizards teleported underneath the stairs. Oh. That would be a sneaky, sneaky secret zone. Because, yeah, the stairs can be dug up. Got 30 spikes left. We are totally killing the boss this way. I can guarantee it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep booby trapping this room until the wizards start standing on my spikes. Ow. They'll do it eventually. Okay. There should be the next wizard. Okay, just stay there. Oh, he's got a different move. Interesting. Damn it. Interestingly enough, I can't put these underneath them when they're there. Alright, whatever. Let's see, they didn't mention being able to, una uh, unable to survive the evil idol. Good point, actually. I've been doing spikes. Yep. Evil idols will murder them. Okay. Let's switch back to this. I guess I'll get some extra candelabra things. No, braziers. There we go. Okay, one way or another, uh, Cheesy Spike McGee wins the day once again. I 
This is going to be my boss fighting strategy. I guarantee it. I feel... I'd, I'd say I feel bad, but it actually feels more appropriate to have, uh, to have the main character in this game beat bosses by using dumb gimmicks than, uh, than anything else. We're gonna have to see if I can make evil idols. If I can make an evil idol and, um... And, uh... And, like, pop it down in front of the boss, that'd be so great. Watch, watch they actually have, like, planned ahead for this and the, the, the Dragon Lord, presumably being the last boss, totally immune to spike damage. Oh, I'd be so pissed. I wonder if you get to fight with your town with, uh, with the final boss battle. Like, you know, how that would even be... Because we haven't fought, like, a legit boss at, uh, RPG style. So, I don't actually know that one. I kinda wanna. Oh, I'm hungry again. I'm just gonna eat all these fruit salads. I'm just gonna probably make a ton of bread for next time. Or maybe burgers. I don't know, I'll go out of my way for... for that. Not having to worry about food would be nice. But then again, we should have enough food that we never have to think about it ever again just because of that restaurant. I don't know. I might actually make multiple restaurants when we get to chapter two. Just so I have enough uh, food for adventuring. Alright, and there's my 99 spikes. So there is a way underneath these stairs somehow. I just don't know how legit it is. Because... That wizard totally got got underneath. But it doesn't look like he comes through here, which sucks. Which means... Let's see if I can plan it out. I'm not actually sure how he got there. How that was even a valid location. I don't know. Apparently the music is loud? Really? Huh. Oh, it's because the battle music. Of course. I forgot that there would actually be a couple types of music that would be playing a little bit louder. Okay, so we're going to try something a bit different. Dude escapes from the monsters. Can I... I can't. Damn it. I was really hoping there'd be, like, a, a secret entrance or a side passage. Because it looks like there is an empty area somewhere on this... ...area, but I guess not. Alright, let's just get out of here. See ya! Well... That was fast. I guess let's camp out for the night. We really should probably act actually make some extra houses. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, part of it is I don't actually have the um, I don't actually have the music on. I've uh, I turned it off a while ago, sort of. Uh, so I might not be. I I can't hear it. You guys totally can, and. I forget that some music can be loud, I guess. Okay. So I hate this section of the house. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna fix up the, um... We're gonna fix up the, uh, sleeping quarters, because they ugly. And small. And honestly, it's a really easy fix. Just gonna make sure I don't hit the other walls. That was actually really fast. Okay. So we wanna do. We wanna continue this here. And then continue this to about here. Almost. I was so close. Just a little bit more. And it would have fit perfectly, but that's fine. 
Okay, let's put some stuff away. Let's take the door out. There we go. Do we have any other undesirable doors here? Yeah, we do. I'm not actually using this room for anything, but still. Okay. I really should actually get rid of these straw doors too, but that's fine. Put this away, we'll keep these out, put the stairs away, put that away. Keep these, and we want stone cladding and flagstone flooring, there we go. Oh, right, and one other stack of dirt. Yeah, I've been out adventuring for far too long. I think we'll we'll talk to um We'll probably talk to Rolo and get the uh the next step underway. Whatever it may be, it's probably gonna be another enemy attack. If I'd wager a guess. But that'll be fine. Okay. Let's get rid of all these flowers. Sadly, I don't know how to how to make an inn, but that's fine. I really don't care, actually. So we got, like, a ton of beds, and this, like, couch, and some other things. Well, we're gonna just put the couch in the corner there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of be decorative with this place, because we don't, we don't know what blocks are required for an inn, meaning... Okay, so we've made an empty room, which is worth crazy points. Oh, interesting. Base is maxed out at level 5. Who'd have thought? We'll just do that for the time being. Let's see, inventory. I was actually hoping it would go up forever and there'd be, like, cool benefits for continuing on. But, no dice. So we've got a basic bedroom. Yeah, everybody just gets to sleep next to each other. I wouldn't mind making like a double-decker inn or something like that. Yeah, I could make room sections in this building. I could, it'd get really cramped real fast. Which... Not super interested in. Okay, let's put away the flooring and the cladding. I'm just gonna take out all the random crap that's kind of clogging my, um... Wow, this thing is huge. I'm gonna just take out everything that's clogging my inventory. It's gonna be a bit of a hodgepodge building. But I'd rather have hodgepodge and less junk then, I don't know, whatever. Okay. Not seeing any other cosmetic items here, except for this one table. You know what? It's gonna be an end table for there, even though technically it's supposed to be a dining table. I don't really care. Not seeing much else here. Oh, right. We've got the barbecue. Oh, it's the barbecue I stole from that guy. Okay, let's delete a couple of things. Do we have anything else around here? Actually, yeah, we've got these Naviglobes. I really don't care about the Naviglobes. Can't place that midair. I was hoping I'd be able to put it on a... table. There we go. That might get a little distracting. How... what? How'd they get in town? Yeah, how how'd they get in town? Uh? Let's see. Put an in sign in the room. To see if it changes anything. Yeah, we might as well. Why is everybody always in here? Not a clue. Okay. Well, one way or another, we don't know how to make a basic bed, so we don't have too much of a choice. But yeah, I'll make an in sign. I actually make two. 
Mainly one for inside, one for outside. It's weird that um, I have to have... You know, it would it makes so much more sense to put it on the outside, right? You know, to signify, hey, this is an inn, by the way. Not here, which is like, what? We already know it's an inn. We're on the inside. Oh! We made our first inexpensive inn. Six straw mattresses and an inn sign. Sweet! I know how to make an inn. Sort of. Not really that well, but I did it. We'll have to get better beds and stuff like that. Okay, well, one more another. Let's talk to Rolo. By my slender belly, dude, you've recovered the evil idols. Now that these fearsome statues are ours. We can build the steel stockade from the Cantlin Chronic that the Cantlin Chronicle describes. Hmm? Should we really be building such a showy structure, you ask? Dude, my boy, you've been talking with LaRouche and Magnus, I take it. You're worried that if we build this city back to its f former glory, a certain massive monster won't take too kindly to it, am I right? Bah ha ha ha! Do you really believe that rubbish? Do not worry, my boy. With your building skills and my immense intellect, we have nothing to fear. Cantlin will soon be back to its bustling best, and there's not a thing uh, the horrid lord of monsters can do about it. Just leave everything to me. Wah ha ha! And we get more Chimera Wings. Sweet biz. Oh, they might have spawned within town. Eh, it's possible. Okay, so... Blueprints. Is he gonna sh tell me how to make the steel stockade? Nope. Righto then. Seeing as they attack from these directions... I'll call that close enough for the time being. Oh, right. Nah, I'm not... I'm probably not gonna put more spikes on. Anyway, where'd, where'd Rolo go? Rolo, Rolo, there we go. By my immense intellect, dude! Yet again, the monsters plan an attack against our home. Those beasts won't just learn their lesson, but by our strength... Uh, by the strength of our defenses and the might of our weapons, we shall drive them off. Dude, my boy, are you ready for a fight? Yes. Well, this should be really easy. So where are they coming from? Over here? Ah. Come on. Over here. Alright. Guess not. Perfect. I don't think he really gets the point of me standing behind him, but whatever. Oh, I want to get this one. Yeah, I'll just make some more spikes. Because clearly, we do actually need the whole set. Let's do that without... Ow. Fire burns! Real bad. Next time, consider putting these elsewhere. See ya, bitches. I'm running away, spiking as hard as I can. Interesting enough, this grass grows here. Oh wait, no, it might have always been here. I don't know. Anyway. Battle! Man, this is riveting. Truly riveting. Okay, that's probably enough. Oh, they broke my ladder on that side. Eh. Uh, guess that doesn't surprise me that much. Leader of the monsters. Oh shit, they broke the wall! Huh. You know, I feel like my fire traps are actually working more against me than otherwise. In fact, yeah, it, it is currently burning my townspeople. Well. I feel mild amounts of guilt given the current situation. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It was the uh, scorpion. The scorpion spinning did it. Okay. So we have yet more quests. But first, we should probably fix our shit. Uh, let's 
bat down these, uh, these fire things. I don't really like them being here. They're kind of a pain. I guess we should go to the inn and rest. There we go. Get the feeling that Rolo is evil. Seems unlikely, but... I don't know. Okay, yeah, so we got more quests to do here, but let's let's fix our stuff first. Oh. I didn't bust you down. Should probably There we go. Let's see, did it do any other damage than that? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm probably gonna leave the rest of my spikes for the time being. Ah. Right, should probably actually, um, you know, fill the hole in my wall. Not too worried about it, but still. Okay, then inventory, we've got this, which... I'm actually just gonna delete the saloon doors, they're useless. Still not sure what to do with some of this cloth stuff. Okay, ladders. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'll keep the I'll keep the statues out for the time being. Let's go find Rolo. Actually, we've got multiple people to talk to. Not Rolo specifically. Hmm, dude, have you noticed how the monsters haven't been attacking more? How how the monsters have, have been attacking more aggressive lately? Not only do they arrive in greater numbers, but their troops are more powerful too. It really seems like we've caught the Dragon Lord's attention. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs while we while he builds up his army, dude. We need to be ready with the strongest weapons and armor we can, and meet the Dragon Lord's forces head on. That's why we need to fit our, out a special room to store these arms, so that we can draw them at a moment's notice. I know if you put some ornamental armor and ornamental swords in the dressing room, we could use it as an armory. Please, dude, turn our dressing room into an armory. We need to be ready for battle at any time. Seems like the rate your city's expanded has got them monsters in a bit of a panic. The Dragon Lords had the whole of Alifgard by the short and curlies for hundreds of years now, but this might be our chance to turn the tables. Dude, if you're gonna clear that darkness from the sky, you're gonna have to be quick about it. I reckon it's time you started preparing to take on the boss of those monsters. The secret of making a furnace, the ultimate in smith and equipment, has been handed down in my family for generations. If we had some of them, we could smelt steel and shape it into fiercely powerful weapons and armor. I'll show you how to build the thing, but the actual building I'll leave up to you, all right? All right, so we've worked out to make a furnace, make the hardest materials, or a Helcom weapon, uh, armor and weapons. Don't know if I have the materials for that necessarily, but still. Okay. So what we're gonna wanna do in that case is actually, let's get this sign off the wall app. Well, you know, if we're going to break the smithy, we might as well be fine with it. Okay, so we've got the stonemason smithy for the time being. Then what we're going to do is actually break everything. It's going to ruin the pot room. The pot chamber. Oof, this costs some levels. Actually, it hasn't cost us a thing, interestingly enough. Uh oh. That is a little bit too far. Okay, so let's put away these braziers. We can't. Do we have a bunch of pots somewhere here? There we go. Nothing there. And fortunately, it is costing me some inventory space on this. Well, whatever. Okay, yeah, so my point is I'm gonna actually break everything for a short period of time. Mainly because I hate how brick looks. It looks awful. Oh, we got our first, first stone window and display stand and a bunch of other things. But yeah, we're going to make a, uh, a big smithy. Interestingly enough, your buildings cannot de-level once, um, once you've leveled them up. That's actually really cool. 
Sort of. Okay, so I've got... No, we, we're just going to use dirt for this. I've got a ton of dirt, and stone wall I can always turn into more stone cladding. Yeah, so we're just gonna... we're just gonna have this big... room. Do you wanna go even bigger? Yeah, let's go even bigger. 